hello welcome all uh, to this new video in this video i'll be explaining that how you can use your arduino iot cloud website for making iot projects in this project basically i will tell you that how you can control the led of a esp32 board and uh, how you can uh, create the arduino programming on the iot cloud so let us begin without uh, having any further delay so once you open your arduino iot cloud uh, so i'll just show that that website so once you go to this create.arduino.cc slash iot so you have to go to this website and uh, this website basically takes a little bit time to load uh, because you will be doing coding and uh, uh, dashboard everything is happening here okay so here what you have to do first of all you have to create a thing so internet of things so you have to create the thing here now in the thing you can see there are three sections you need to add here so one is your variable section one is your link device uh, device section and another one is your network section so in the add variable we have to add that variable name through which you are going to control the led so for that uh, you have to give the name of a variable it's user defined you can take anything let me just write led so that's it and then we have to select one variable type here so variable type is basically here boolean type and uh, you can see boolean i can write uh, let us see that whether we have a LED or not. So there is no LED. So light and color is there. So you can search for that also. But for this particular one, we will take the boolean LED. So what is this boolean LED? So LED is now a variable. Name is variable. And the character type or the um, data type of the LED is boolean. So either it will be 0 or 1. So you can take this. Next is variable permission. So as you know, if you are going to use any sensor, then you need only read uh, permission there because from sensor you are going to read the data only, you are not going to write anything onto the sensor. So for here, generally for your uh, devices which takes output, so read and write permission has to be given. So we will select this read write permission and here variable update policy will make it on change. Periodically means whether you control the light or not so it will uh, change in periods like uh, after one second two second like this so if i select periodically then it is asking that after how many seconds the data is going to update but we will make it on change so whenever you switch on or off any change is uh, state in the switch it will work so I'll write here add variable so see here the variable is created and we have added it here next thing is you have to choose a device you have to select a device here so for that uh, already i have uh, created two devices uh, let's uh, just not use uh, set up a new device so you'll get this option so click on set up a new device and here you have to select a device set up a arduino device or a third party device so basically we are going to use the esp32 which is not a arduino product so you have to use the esp set up a third party device and here you can see three options are there and we have a esp32 so we'll select this one and from here you have to select the type of the model so for me the model is esp32 uh, dev kit 1 so i'll just uh, find it out so this one is mine my, my uh, um, esp32 so it is written basically on the back side of the ES, your usb32 you can check it out uh, basically the basic one is this one do it esp32 develop development kit version 1 so next click on continue and you can add a name there so i'll write here m class esp32 and here i'll click on next now the device is created then it will create one secret id and one device id through which this website whatever you are going to create is going to be connected to your esp32 so you need to copy paste it save it somewhere for later use so for that there is an option of download the pdf so I click on this so it will uh, download the pdf for you so this is the pdf that will be downloaded okay so now it's downloaded it's saved so we'll use it later right now we'll minimize this after you do this then i saved my device id and secret key so remember that once it is generated and if you have not saved it then you will not get it again so make sure that you download the pdf to save it then click on continue okay so it's done now okay so you can see here it is created once this one is created then what will happen this configure button will come up uh, before creating this it will the, uh, it will not come so what is the configure button basically configure button is 
your uh, ESP32 has to need to be connected to internet and it will be done through the Wi-Fi. So for that purpose, you need to give your Wi-Fi credential. So my Wi-Fi credential I will give here. So just the hotspot name, ID and password. Now it is asking me the secret key. So in the PDF, the secret key is there. So this is the secret key. I have to add it. So here I have added the secret key and save. So now creating the variable, everything is done here. Now the thing is that I have to write the code. The beautifulness of this website is that you don't have to write the code. The code is ready made for you. So once you go to this case, so you can see the code is ready for you. So whatever is required, the code is already written. So some minor changes has to be done that that I'll tell you. And uh, then if I go to the open full editor here, in open full editor, you can see the whole code and the uh, header files of the library files that is created for this particular uh, program. Okay. So for that, just uh, here this option of full editor you have to click uh, connect okay click on that so it is going to load me the full editor now the full editor is open so see here there are different different things are there one is untitled so as it is coming up, i have not given any name to that so why it is untitled i'll show you if i go to this setup so see here i have not given any name so if i change the name here like So I'll just write M class LED. That's it. Now if I change this and uh, I'll close this and I'll go to sketch again. So it will reload the sketch for me. I'll open the full editor again. Now you'll see that uh, file name will come. So if you have a very fast internet speed, it should not be a problem. But generally I have also noticed that with fast internet also, this is a bit slower. Not that much that uh, you'll get irritated. But compared to uh, offline Arduino ID editor, this is a bit slower, not uh, very much slower. So now this, it is open, you can see M class LED main 31A. So that's how it, the code comes out. Now here you can see with the main program, there are two other programs also. Secret one is here. So what is this secret? Basically in the secret, the hotspot ID name and password is given. So that you have entered in the thing and things properties dot h so here the this device id is given so this is the device id generated through which it is going to connect to the arduino sorry your esp32 and here it will take the ssid and password so from here it will take it so secret ssid and password there are two variables assigned as these names and uh, this program it will take it here and here the uh, variable that we have declared is declared here so bullet led is the variable that we have declared and these are some essential program files uh, that it automatically creates i don't have to do anything and where do i need to write the logic of switch on and off so here you see uh, in this main program if you go to the last on led change okay so what will happen if you change the led now if you see in the setup so what is that led so basically this one is your led okay so on led change then what will happen so here we have to add the logic so what is the logic if okay your led equals to equals to equals to one so see here the variable we have created here is your led so you have to name the same here so on if led equals to equals to one then what do we need to do so we need digital write digital write what pin number two comma high so basically the pin number two is the inbuilt led in your um, esp32 okay and then write else so the, uh, this if loop is completed here and after this else So else what will happen is digital write low pin number two low and semicolon it's end. So this is the condition we have given if LED equals to equals to one then 
uh, it will be on if led equals to equals to low uh, zero then it will be off so from where this input is going to come i'll tell that also now the thing is that once this variable is changing its value then this um, led will switch on or switch off now when you are writing pin number two so in the void setup also we need to initialize the pin number two so pin mode two comma output so pin number two is the output okay so this is the thing we need to do in the programming part now we'll go to here in arduino cloud so you need to go to these dashboards so here we are going to create the switch for that so already there are two uh, things I, i'll just uh, delete those two so to avoid any confusion okay so now if you come to dashboard the for the first time this will come so we have to click on build a dashboard so here one untitled dashboard will be created you can give a name here also so in this dashboard what we have to do as we are controlling the led we need a switch so for that we go to add here and you can just select here things or manually you can add the switch also so see, let's see what happens if you select the things so if you select the things then it will tell me that which thing you have already created so here which thing you have created will show it so let's click on that so it will automatically detect that led is a variable so i'll click on create widget so it know led is a boolean variable so it will create a switch for me so if it is in off state then it will send one sorry zero and if it is on stand it will just send one so accordingly according to this on and off this is the logic that is going to work here okay so now everything is ready my dashboard is ready i can control the led from here and then this program is ready so let me just uh, open up the camera and uh, we'll see the esp32 board Okay, so this is the ESP32 board I am going to use. I have already connected it. Now, the uh, one more beautiful thing is that you can directly upload the code from the internet. You don't have to go to Arduino ID. Though you can download and do it. So let's first try it from the internet. So as I have connected it in COM11, it is connected. I hope it should be visible. Let me just try it here. So this one is uh, connected here. I'll just select it. Okay. Now I'll upload, but I'll click at the upload button here. So it will take some time for that. I'm just uh, it will take some time, not more than that. But there is a limitation also that. Uh, you cannot uh, use as many as things you can create as many as time you can compile that doesn't happen here so for that you need to buy some uh, plans uh, they have but the pre version you can maximum create only two uh, things so you can see now it has uh, started the uploading i am just pressing the boot button uh, for the upload to start see uh, the upload is being done now okay now upload is completed as you can see here um, the led was blinking previously after the code is uploaded it's not blinking we can go to the serial monitor as well and we can see um, what is happening there so see here in the serial monitor now it is connected to my hotspot that name i have uh, given here i hope it's visible we cannot zoom it okay so now let us go to our dashboard and we will try to control this led so now if i click on off here see this led is off now i 
hope it's visible now if i click on on here this lte is on now so this is the inbuilt delete pin number 2 it is there so right now like this i can just switch on and off so next is what you can control this using the so you can control that uh, from the mobile as well so for that you need to uh, download this application iot arduino iot remote so it, you just need to open this application so i will keep it here for the visibility yeah. so i can just uh, open the application here so see this untitled dashboard that we have created so you can see it here now so that untitled dashboard that we have created we can see it here so if i click on this the switch that is created it will be visible now okay so now this all are synced so this uh, this switch okay and the arduino iot cloud switch in the mobile and the led all are linked so if i now click on here off so you can see this is off the led is off and in the websites also it is off now if i switch it on the led is on and in the website should it should be on okay so like this it works in your arduino iot mobile also so in the next video i will tell that how you can just add your uh, other uh, sensors as well and how you can uh, take the data from here from the usb 32 through the sensor to the cloud as well so for this video i will stop it here and in the next video i will explain that how you can control the how you can use the sensor to take data and you can publish that in the arduino iot cloud website so for the till now so thank you have a good day